Hi, one of the biggest questions that we get all the time, Joe, is, is the Vitals Bridge compatible with my patient simulator? The good news is, is we provide a lot of different ways to allow your, whether it's a mannequin or a standardized patient, to work with the Vitals Bridge. And on the simplest level, we use a, either a connector application that runs on an Android-based device or also a Windows PC-based device. And Joe, why don't you show us how that works? Yeah, I have here the Android app loaded on my Android phone and it's connected over Bluetooth with this Vitals Bridge. So right now we're simulating a healthy patient. I'm going to show you how easy it is to adjust, for instance, the oxygen saturation. Let's have this patient be a little hypoxic and let's lower the heart rate as well. I can change any of these vital signs and after I do it, a few seconds later you can see that the vital signs change on the actual patient monitor. That way you can actually mimic your scenario using an app on the fly. On the fly with an app. Yeah. Now there's another way that you can also integrate with a mannequin and that's using direct integration with an instructor application. Uh, in this example, we're going to try using Lairdahl's Leap to show you how that works. Okay, I'm with our Leap technical engineer, Noah, now. Uh, let me describe, first of all, what you're seeing on the screen. On the left side is the Vitals Bridge Connector app. That is the Windows-based application that allows you to change your vital signs. On the right side of the screen is the direct video output from a Philips IntelliView MP70. It's not a simulated monitor, it is the actual video output, so you're looking at a real patient monitor there. So an advantage to using the Vitals Bridge Connector app, then Noah, is just like what we saw just a few minutes ago with Joe Orr, uh, being able to do something on the fly from a phone or a tablet. Uh, some simulation centers will already have PCs set up and it's very easy to throw an application on and change things on the fly. That's right. It's a great way to get set up. It's a great way to check your vital signs. And it's also a great way if, if, if you're using a low fidelity um, simulation or a standardized patient, you can use this interface to control the, the vital signs to get to what you is, to get what is desired onto the real patient monitor. Yeah. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and bring up the Leap software and show the second way that you can uh, communicate with your mannequins. Okay, so here's the there Leap software. Uh, those who use Laradol simulators are probably very familiar with this uh, interface that is used to control the mannequin's vital signs. So the nice thing about this is that you can take a, an interface that you're already familiar with, make changes using that instructor app and have those changes then reflected on a real patient monitor. And Noah, maybe you can give us a couple of examples here. So again, we'll start with heart rate, change it from 80, and we're gonna just quickly change it to 105 beats per minute. And just so you know, I'm adjusting that uh, through the window. I didn't show up on our video capture so software, but take a look and you'll see that this set value in leap is now 105 where it used to be 80. And now the patient monitor is updating its heart rate from the increased ECG waveform. We're going to drop again our SpO2 in a similar manner as we did before. This time I'm just adjusting it down in leap to 70 and we'll see that the patient monitor, the IntelliView, is tracking that pulse oximetry value dropping lower. So to review then, there's several ways that you can communicate with your patient simulator. You can use our Android-based application to, you, to use a phone or a tablet and via Bluetooth connect to and control the, the vital signs that are on whatever monitor you're choosing on the fly. You can also use the Vitals Bridge Connector app for Windows to do the same thing. Or you can use the Vitals Bridge Connector app and connect to an, an instructor app. In this case, we're showing the example of Lairdahl's Leap and then take advantage of the familiar interface and all of the power that an instructor app has to display those same vital signs on a patient monitor.